Welcome to your daily guidance. All right, we'll look at some tarot today. Is that one? Yes. Hmm, what are you worried about? Are you worried that you're going to miss, miss out on something if you don't do something? Are you having dreams about someone and it's feeling kind of torturous? Hmm, the, de the devil might be trying to tempt you with some answers. Ooh, go this egotistical way. Ooh, go this materialistic way. Ooh, you know, trying to make you into some kind of a puppet. So there could be some temptation here, or you could just be feeling insecure. Maybe your insecurities are holding you back, and you didn't know that it was actually the devil that was holding you back. So maybe you should be paying attention to, like, who you're listening to. Are you listening to the, sh to the angel or the devil on your shoulder? Gain some clarity. Have some boundaries with anybody who's trying to tempt you off path or trying to tell you things that are negative that make you feel insecure. Maybe somebody who's really cutting and somebody who's kind of mean about what they're saying. Maybe they're poo-pooing your ideas of a bright life and they're trying to tell you you can't do it, you can't succeed, and you ought not be listening to that person. You probably should be um, maybe even communicating to somebody important that could actually give you a leg up or a, or a, a helping hand to go in the right direction, but definitely um, be not listening to and having good boundaries with that person who's really negative. That makes you feel even more insecure and unsure about yourself. Yeah, look at that. Once you do that, everything's going to really start aligning for you and going forward quickly. Um, this is lots of communication, things just kind of wonderfully working out, almost magically. Something you feel really passionate about, maybe something you've been dreaming of happening, but you've had a lot of doubt because of people been saying stuff in your ear about how you can't make it happen. But um, then all of a sudden you become more clear because you cut those people out or stop listening to them. They were burdening you. These people or this person was really burdening you and you've had to lay that burden down in other words and in, in other words in order to have that go forward you had to like step into this queen of pentacles energy knowing you got this you're confident in yourself and you can make this happen you know that you can uh, maybe you're going to rely on some some knowledge knowledgeable or wise people in your networking circle that can help lend a hand as to making things go forward, you know, and get unstuck. Maybe somebody who has some kind of clout in your industry or that um, somebody who kind of knows what they're doing and they're kind and compassionate. Maybe a burden was that you had a, you know, somebody in your life who was really taking you for your money. Maybe this person who was being skeptical was like taking your money and smiling like that. And being like, yeah, I got them right where I need them, right where I want them, giving me lots of money. So you had to practice a boundary to make them go, you know, go away um, so that you can ascend to higher levels and have some faith in this new journey. Look at all the pink. I mean, your heart is glowing with passion for this new journey you want to go on. Could be a commitment or a relationship. It could be um, just going up to the higher steps of your spiritual evolution. It could be ascending. It could be laughter lift, lifting you higher. Maybe you had a sense of humor about this person who was just there for the money and trying to influence you in a negative way, really burdening you and stressing you out. Um, maybe you're putting your putting your sights higher on what you can achieve and what you can. Maybe you've got this much negativity in your life. But you're deciding to focus on this over here, a bright future coming in for you if you can just have the faith. And maybe there's a commitment. Maybe Cupid's arrows are hitting you really hard and you want to go get married. Maybe that's what this is all in regards to. You're going to have some kind of a tower moment. Divine intervention is going to step in and lend you a hand. Um, this is definitely everything aligning in your favor to go forward toward that commitment and that um, thing that you have a lot of faith in coming through for you it's like lightning will strike if it needs to to stop this craziness that's going on that's been trying to keep you from your dreams you have an intuitive knowing about this being the right step that you need to take maybe you've been sensing or feeling this person in the 5d if it's a person you're being called to or maybe you're just learning to learning to listen to your intuition as to whether it's the devil that's speaking to you or if it's good, solid, wise guidance. 
So you're ending the cycle in your life that you've been in and you're stepping into a more authentic and vulnerable stage of your life where you're gonna be quite happy. Look at these people. Look at the looks on their faces. They do not look burdened whatsoever anymore, right? It's because they've gone into commitment and they've embraced the possibility that anything is possible for them. And they're rising up those vibrational levels and here comes Annie, right? At that time to confirm. Wow. <laughs> so you have all this light that's replacing the dark energy. It's the end, of, this is an end of a cycle. The end, like you're protected too. You're protected in this bubble as you go forward into what you feel really compassionate about. Hi, baby girl. Wow. You're going toward that person you've either had a past life with or that was in your past. You want to rekindle things and heal things with this person. You want to come out and shine, shine like the sun you are. Somebody you can't get off your mind. Somebody you're loyal to in your heart of hearts. Good for you. Good for you. And they said, you can do this. You can absolutely do this. Um, yeah. The king of swords stands in his truth. He's strong. He's clear. He knows what he wants. What he wants is this passionate thing he wants to go toward. That's his ultimate truth, and he's standing in it. He's coming out of the shadows. Wow, is the emperor. He's coming out with some, some he's going to admit some truths. It feels like some truths are coming out as he's stepping into his power. He's like, I'm tired of feeling insecure, and I'm tired of hiding. I just want to step in my power and own it and take action and get myself out of this murky, lost place. His intuition is screaming to him that he needs to just step in his power and do something about this. He's gonna to go towards his Queen of Cups, the one that he loves deeply and has that intuitive connection with. Somebody who's loving and compassionate perhaps makes a good mother or would make a good mother. So, well, Annie is playing on her thing over there as confirmation. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> so maybe be real playful when connecting with this person and going forward babies <laughs> cute <laughs> where'd she go <laughs> she took off alright you guys have yourselves a beautiful day and whatever this is make it happen you got this and the universe has got your back all right, have a beautiful day. <laughs> and he wishes you a happy day too. <laughs> you can see more of her on um, Insta Fam Fun here on Instagram. Not here because this is YouTube, but it's on Instagram. Insta Fam Fun. <laughs> All right. The, oh, look, here comes Nala too. <laughs> Hi, Nala. Hi, baby girl. Annie, got them both here. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Cute. All right, again, have yourselves a beautiful day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Also, feel free to join me at patreon.com forward slash Amy Satori, where I post monthly energy readings, pick a decks, and other goodies for members only, including discounts for readings and being entered to win a free reading at the end of the year. Memberships start as low as $5.55 a month. Sometimes I even put my free collective love readings on Patreon first before uploading them here to YouTube. You can check the description of my videos for the most up-to-date information.